May it continue. Now, Pam, going on to another love of your life, you have a little Jack Russell. Yeah, I've bit. got a little Jack Russell called Tatty. Okay. I never liked them. Right. I never liked them because um, they always seem to bite members of my family. And when I got one... Yeah, well, I was going to say, it's very funny that you should say that because you are going to love meeting our next member of the new One Show family, Jordan Shelley. He knows everything there is to know. Oh, yeah. Good. We are going to be spending some time with Jordan over the next few weeks because he's a dab hand with Man's Best Friend. Jordan Shelley is a dog behaviour specialist. He travels the country helping dogs and their owners work through problems that can blight the special relationship between man and his best pal. With patience and perseverance, Jordan has transformed the lives of troublesome dogs and their owners. Jordan is at the Sanctuary, his home and treatment centre in North London. At any given time, the Sanctuary can be home for up to a dozen dogs. The Sanctuary is a place where clients can bring their dogs for training um, and I work with lots of rescue dogs here as well. I've rescued probably in the last couple of years about 20 to 30 dogs. They have all sorts of problems, they come in, some don't want to go up and down the stairs. We have dog aggressive dogs, uh, food aggressive dogs, but I, I get bits of everything. I mean it's amazing, we had a little Maltese that had an ASBO that came in, it was told off because it nipped the postman one too many times, I mean you get all sorts. At the Sanctuary, Jordan trains dogs of all ages, including puppies. And the first thing I like to teach them is how to eat properly. I like them to sit down and wait for the food. And then the first one to sit down and to be the calmest is the first one that gets to eat. And today it would be him. The average day here starts off um, with a big pack walk. I don't drive, so some journeys can be interesting to say the least. And then come back here and everyone has their sort of brunch. Normally they go to sleep for a little bit, they'll have a little afternoon nap. And then we do bits of like a 20 minute sessions with each of the dogs. And then they just play in the garden basically and tire each other out. Jordan's latest case has brought him to Woolwich in South East London to visit Samantha Downey and a Jack Russell bitch, Roxy. Samantha and Roxy live with Samantha's mum, Jane, together with sisters Tasha and Megan. When the postman comes, puts letters through the door, she'll fly from wherever she is, grabbing hold of letters, putting holes in them. When anyone comes in my room and she's with me on my bed, She'll start to growl and shake, and if they advance towards me anymore, the teeth will come out, and she's even started to, to jump off the bed and lunge to them sometimes when they just get to the door. If Roxy's eating um, and someone wants to take the bowl away from her, if it's me, she's fine, but if anyone else, she'll, she'll show teeth, she'll crouch right over the bowl. I'm hoping Jordan can fix Roxy, because we're on, like, eggshells with her now, and it makes me nervous because I don't want her to damage my family or, or anyone else because if it's anyone else, she will be put to sleep. And that's not... I don't want to think about that. I think this might be the place. Hello. Hi, I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. I'm Samantha. Is that Roxy I can hear in there? Yeah, sure is. you want to come yeah. inside? Yeah. Jane, you obviously run the house here. What's it like when Samantha's away? It can get quite bad. Yeah? Yeah. If we walk in, um, she growls. Uh, obviously, um, if we go to take her food, she'll probably attack your feet as well. Megan, tell me about the problems you've been having. I have to wear wellies because Roxy bites my feet. When is it that she attacks your feet? Um, when she's in Samantha's room, when she's eating her food. Samantha, you're really worried that this might get out of hand now? Yeah, she's my dog and I'm away quite a lot now and she stays with my family so she needs to start listening to them as well because I get a phone call with dogs playing up. So what would you guys say if um, I said a couple of hours here with you and Roxy and she'd be behaving much better? Mm. Go for it. I'd say it was a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be fantastic. It'd be amazing to have her back the way she was. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Fantastic. It's clear that Roxy has lots of issues, but they all boil down to insecurity. So she's aware of the fact that um, so sometimes people are in charge of her, but other times they're not. And so it's trying to find the balance and make sure she realises she's beneath all the people in the house. For the rest of the day, we're going to work with the whole family and Roxy to make sure that she realises she's a follower and a leader. <laughs> 
Oh, Jordan's in the studio tomorrow and we're going to find out how he gets on at helping Roxy. Mm. And you've got a very...